And sure. then we can talk about more about ice cream. Did you, know, did you wash your hands? No. Oh. <laughs> you just like gym hands. <laughs> and grocery store hands. <laughs> okay, okay. Get over it. Okay, so this video is strictly about ice cream. So if you don't want to know anything about ice cream, or I guess also peep Oreos. Well, throwing them. Uh, peep Oreos. So if you don't want to hear about ice cream or peep Oreos, then this video is not for you. Even if you don't want to watch our ice cream review, remember that you can always like our video or subscribe or comment. And stay tuned for my squat attempt at 315. <laughs>
are better tasting. They have like chunks in there. It's like what I miss when I eat the um, lower, the calorie. lower calorie. Uh, there's no texture. It's just all either icy or kind of creamy if you do our little mix in with it. Yeah. I really like Artem Zero if I'm looking for protein at night, but I don't want any fat, um, which is usually the case, honestly, as I'm out of my fats by the end of the day, and so I'll have this. Plus, it has fiber, and so I feel like it keeps me full. Like, if I eat a whole pint before bed, I, you know, I'm good to go. Um, so, that's why I like it. So, the next step up would be uh, Halo Top. So, for this one, you have 70 uh, calories per half a cup. So, it's actually less than this. Um, but like I said, this will have like chunks of stuff in there, or this one has a peanut butter swirl. Um, but it's one and a half fat, 12 carbs, six protein. And the reason the macros don't add up, they have like sugar alcohols and fibers and stuff listed, and they take that out. So I think it's like net carbs is how they do yeah. it. But anyways, they Halo Top is definitely the better tasting of the two. Like the protein ice cream. It's, it's real nice. ice creamy taste to it. It's but it still doesn't compare to it has dairy in it and so actually it kind of like hurts my stomach sometimes if you're sensitive to dairy it's definitely not maybe the better choice but i for most for the most part this is not worth it on a cut if i'm bulking i'm gonna eat real ice cream which we'll we'll talk about but okay so next you kind of have your your options with ice cream so like there's just a frozen yogurt vanilla right here um this one uh is oh yeah is 100 calories for a half a cup one and a half fat 17 carbs two protein and then you have like a fat free option which is also 100 calories it's zero fat 20 carbs four protein so it kind of just depends like do you need to have no fat do you need more carbs like what it is between these two but both 100 calories per per serving so you know you're stepping up on these calories per serving next you have a dryer slow churn uh, and then their new slow churn frozen yogurts. So believe it or not, this one actually is uh, the dryer slow churn ice cream is less than the frozen yogurt in calories. This mint chip is uh, 110 calories. It's three fat, 18 carbs, two protein. Whereas this is four and a half fat, 24 carbs, three protein. Yeah. And then finally, the last of the step ups is your oh Ben gosh. and Jerry's. <laughs> so a half a cup has 340 calories, 24 fat, 28 carbs, five protein. Most people sit down and eat the whole pint though, right? Yeah, when you or think about half. it. Which I is, probably eat which is 12, so it's 1360 calories for a whole pint. So you could eat, what, you could eat? Mm. For a half a cup of this, you could eat 10 servings of this. So you could eat two and a half, half entire pints for just a fourth of this. What about the regular ice cream though? Regular ice cream? Yeah. You could eat, so essentially three. Uh, so you could have um, one and a half cups of this for a half cup of this. Yeah. Which is like, if you're not familiar, half a cup. I mean, think about this. This is like four servings of this thing. Cream. So it's like one, so you divide this into fourths. Yeah. So, not a lot. Anyways, that's how we do ice cream on prep. Um, when you start getting low down in there, maybe do the salted caramel and add in like a couple chocolate chips for some kind of crunch to it. Um, but in general, if I can make it, I'm sticking with these. Yeah, those are definitely more worth it. And these actually are pretty good. Like I said, if I had a choice between a rice cake and this because I needed something sweet, I'd go with this. I'd pick a rice cake, so. Especially if it had peanut butter on it. It's really icy. It's like a popsicle. Yeah, it's not my favorite. That's it. Oh, and now now we'll give you our reviews on these new flavors. So we're gonna review cookie and cake, or cake and cookie fantasy, peanut butter, like peanut a, butter cookie dough. Yeah, it's a Toll House flavor, and then the other frozen yogurt flavor we were able to find, which was, was caramel it? praline or yeah. something. Caramel That's coming at you. Right now. We had been seeing these new flavors of dryers, slow churn, or dryers yogurt. Um, and so we finally found them. So, so we're we have trying them. Caramel Praline Perfection. Perfection. Peanut butter cookie dough, which is a slow churn. Only four fat, which is pretty good for peanut butter stuff. Yeah. This one has three and a half. 
And then Cake and Cookie Fantasy. That one has four and a half. It's a red velvet cake and sugar cookie. Yeah, it's, it's really good. That one's right. gonna be your favorite. Let's go. <laughs> so this is the uh, Cake Fantasy one. Caramel Praline Perfection. I hope this is um, focusing, so. <sighs> And then the dryers slow turn peanut butter cookie dough. Okay. Which you're going for red velvet first? I'm going to go for peanut butter. Ooh, it's so Ooh. creamy. Peanut butter has chunks of dough and peanut butter. Mm. Yeah. We recently got peanut butter cup, and this is better. Because of have chunks of cookie dough. This is like red um, red velvet halo top, but with with chunks of sugar cookie and like cookie dough pieces in there. This has chunks of peanut butter. So this is really good. Mmm. I feel like peanut butter. That's just good. <laughs> there you go. Ice cream top. I'm going to try this. You're breathing so hard. I'm trying, I gotta get this out of my mouth. Um, ooh, this is soft. Wow. Mmm, oh my gosh. Wow. It tastes like cake. I, I'm, people know now that I'm not a big peanut butter fan. But this is, this is pretty good. It's really peanut buttery. So, Sugar cookie flavor is strong in this one. And also, it does taste like a frozen yogurt. Like, it has that tang to it. So, if you don't like that, I shouldn't be eating more of this. I should try this. Ooh, this is soft, too. Mm -hmm. Frozen yogurt, so softer. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. You can't taste anything. Yeah, it just tastes like... I don't know if I can taste here's it. A, here's a praline. Oh, I got one. Yeah. It tastes like their praline regular one, their ice cream. It tastes it's, the same. It's hard to be caramely when you have a frozen yogurt, I think. Because it's got but that I tang. Love, I love the textures of these frozen yogurts. They're real creamy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, this Cake Fantasy one. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Sugar cookie chunks. Yeah, and... What's your favorite? This one? Yeah. Yeah. This one. Winner. Winner. Is it your favorite? Dinner. Yeah. I mean, I like peanut butter, but. You threw ice cream at me. Lick it off the floor. You can't let it go to waste. Lick it off my toe. 